This is Dave from DQ Studios and the creator of Multiboto Keyboards for Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop. In this video, we're going to take a look at Multiboto for Lightroom. Exactly what is it and who is it for? As photographers, we've decided a long time ago to retouch every single image in-house. We are the Asian sweatshop. Yay us. <laughs> well, the problem is it takes a lot of time and we find that we're spending more time behind the computer than in front of the camera. Motiboto was created or the frustration of using a mouse with Lightroom's tiny little sliders. So why is that such a bad thing? What if somebody took away your computer and your keyboard and told you you have to write all your emails with a pen? That's exactly what we feel like when we have to use the sliders in Lightroom. Sliders are great when you first get to know Lightroom and it's fun for about the first 15 to 20 images. And then it very quickly devolves into what we call editing hell. Whether you're using a mouse, a trackpad, or a tablet, the problem with the sliders is every single basic adjustment requires a tedious little movement of a slider. And after you're done that one change, you have to go look at your image again and then decide what else needs to change and then move your mouse to a next slider and then change that one. And then you're playing this visual ping pong back and forth. And by the time you're done 20 images, you've got hand cramps. Multiboto changes all of that and it's literally touch typing comes to Lightroom. There's two parts to Motiboto that allows it to do its magic. One is going to be the software, and that's really the brains and the heart of the operation. That literally puts all of the controls of Lightroom at your fingertips. Now, the second part of it is going to be the hardware, and that comes in your choice of either a USB keyboard that plugs into any Windows or Mac computer, or my personal favorite, the skin. And this fits on any Apple wireless keyboard or a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air 13 inch. The proof is in the pudding. So let's move over to Lightroom and compare with and without Motiboto how we would retouch some images. I'm going to be using a trackpad as my mousing device. And so this is going to be the same whether I'm on a laptop or on my main computer. With every image, you've got to decide what you want before you start applying a change. So with this one, using Lightroom sliders, if I want to decrease the exposure, I just grab the exposure slider and I drag it to the left here and then I let go. Now, when I decide I want more contrast, I move my mouse and of course it'll look at my mouse and my contrast slider and then I drag it to the right here. Now, if I want to apply a preset, I've got to move my mouse all the way to the left side here and click on the preset that I want. And if I'm happy with that, then I'm done the image. Well, how can Motiboto make this faster? Just like in touch typing, you put your index fingers on Motiboto's F and J keys. Put your fingers on the F and J. You'll find your fingertips aligned with the green keys of the Motiboto layout, and that gives you full control of all of Lightroom's basic adjustments. Now, instead of having to move the little tiny sliders, I can literally just type minus exposure or plus exposure, or minus or plus whites, contrast, highlights, temperature, tint, clarity, vibrant, shadow, blacks, or saturation. You get the picture. But wait, there's more. What if the exposure was way off on an image? Let's say, for example, this was overexposed. Well, instead of having to type the minus exposure key like 20 times, we can very quickly press and hold the shift modifier. Now, instead of making a capital letter, it's going to let the exposure jump in bigger increments up or down. So now I'm just going to hit it until it gets into the ballpark and I'm going to fine tune it when I let go of the shift key. And the shift modifier works with all of the basic adjustments. So if I wanted to add a bunch of contrast, I just press and hold shift and I can increase the contrast or increase the clarity. Now, if I want to add a preset, instead of moving the mouse all the way over to the left side and clicking on a preset, I can literally just touch the top row keys of the Motiboto keyboard. And it comes with some great presets that we love and personally use, including the outdoor pop. I'm going to add a DQ hype and a sunset toner. I'm going to decrease the exposure just a touch here, um, decrease the whites to bring back the cloud detail, and I'm done. Here is the before, and here is the after. This image needs some more contrast, and I'm going to add some clarity to that. Now, their faces are too dark, and instead of changing the global exposure with my basic adjustments, I want to just bring attention and focus to their face. And that's why we created the one key access to Lightroom's power tools like gradients and brushes. Instead of having to access the menu system or click on these little icons, all we need to do is press the radial gradient key. And here's the kicker. Not only do we have one key access to those power tools, but we also include Motiboto presets that make it so simple and fast to use. For this one, I'm going to choose the Dodge Light preset and just drag a circle near their faces. Now their faces have brightened up nicely. If I want it brighter, I just use my arrow keys and I can brighten it more or decrease it. And just like with the basic adjustments, I can also use my shift modifier and make bigger changes faster. And when I'm happy with that, I'm going to add, let's say the sunset toner, a little bit more contrast on that. And I am happy. Here is the before. And here's the after. 
Let's say you shot several images in the same light with the same camera settings. Instead of having to press copy and paste or having to redo all the basic adjustments over and over again, I can just move to the next image and with this pinky, press the red key, done. Next image, done. Now those three images are now done with the exact same tone and exposure and they're ready for the same album spread. And so the ergonomics of Motiboto makes it super simple to work on studio shots or in the same lighting. Confession. I can't shoot straight to save my life, as you can see with the ocean falling out of the left side of this image. That's why I created the crop tool and labeled the bubble level here on the keyboard. You just press and hold this and draw a line on any horizon or vertical line and voila, I have fixed my crookedness. Now we love black and white images, but we've never found one preset that works on all kinds of images. So instead of giving you like 50 different presets and making you wade through them all until you find the perfect one or something even close we have a different way of working with it. We just have one black and white preset called black and white start. You go, Dave, that's a funny name. Why isn't it called black and white finish? Aha, I'm glad you asked. So press the black and white start and that's a good starting point. Now we use the targeted adjustment tool to finish it off. And you can get the targeted adjustment tool in Lightroom by either you know, digging through some menus in the right side or the top panel, or by invoking some magical four key button press. But like with all things Motiboto, it's one button press away. What's cool about the targetism tool is that I can work directly on my image and modify certain tones. So for example, if I just want to brighten up the skin, I'm just going to click on her skin and drag up. And my eye doesn't have to move away from the image to know exactly what I'm changing because I'm working on the image itself. If I want to bring up the shadow detail of the rocks, I just click on the rocks and I drag up until I'm happy with that. Now when I'm happy, I let go. The final thing we're going to do with this is add a little bit of a vignette. And we're going to do that by using the radial gradient, um, inverting the mask, choosing our burn light and just drawing a circle from the face out and giving a nice subtle vignette. I'm going to add a little bit more clarity to that, a little bit more exposure. And here is the before and here is the after, the perfect black and white. This next image is already gorgeous out of camera, but we're just going to polish it a little bit with Motiboto to make it even stronger. We're going to darken the sky with the linear gradient instead of the radial gradient. I'm going to choose the Motiboto burn light preset and just drag a straight line down from the top. Now we're going to focus the viewer's attention on the couple. And for that, we're going to use the gradient, uh, the radial gradient this time. Now I'm going to choose the dodge light preset and just click on the couple, drag out and Voila. Now I'm going to add some presets, the outdoor pop as well as the sunset toner. And here is the before and zazinga zanga. That is the finished image. What else can it do? This image was taken in the searing heat and sun of the big island of Hawaii and Quinn was kind enough to hold the light for me so our couple wasn't a shadowless blob. The first thing we're going to do is crop Quinn out of the picture. Sorry hon, love ya. Now I don't want to get the edge of the frame so close to the couple that it limits my framing options. So I'm going to include most of the tree here. But the problem is that we've got that softbox that's in the way. Not to worry. We're going to use the spot tool and get rid of that softbox. And here's the secret to an effective spot removal of a piece of junk or a blemish that you want to get rid of in Lightroom. You want to hover over the object that you want to get rid of and use the brush sizer keys of Motiboto to get it just slightly larger than the object itself. Now just click on it and boom, it is gone. Now we can finish off the image with some global presets like the outdoor pop and let's try the sunset toner. And if it's too warm for you, I'm just gonna take down my temperature a touch and I am happy. Here is the before and here is the after. With this last image, you're probably thinking out of camera, Dave, what are you doing keeping this image? What are you smoking? Well. Now that we know how quickly we can work with Motiboto, we shoot differently. We vision our finished image while we're shooting. For this picture, what we're going to do first is crop the image and bring in the bottom left corner. And because we shot through a window, it's a little bit green. So I'm going to increase the tint until we get the green off of their skins there. Now, when we've done that, I can change some global parameters, like add some contrast, add some clarity, bring down the exposure. Now I'm gonna add some effects. I'm gonna try the DoQ Hype, as well as the Sunset Toner. And I'm gonna decrease the blacks to bring the blacks back down. And I'm just gonna turn the temperature a little bit cooler here. And I really like the feel of this. Increase the contrast a touch, bring up the exposure, increase the clarity and I am happy with the way that looks right now. So from out of camera where you think, huh, to 
finished wall art worthy of a five foot print. That is the power of Motiboto. I'm Asian, so humor me as I do some math. If Motiboto saves you just 30 seconds an image, and I think that's pretty conservative, just 30 seconds an image, and let's say you deliver 500 images per wedding, and if you shoot 20 weddings per year, you save a full 10 eight hour days of work with Motiboto. So Motiboto is giving you two entire weeks of your life back. And that is why Motiboto is gold. With that extra two weeks, you could shoot more weddings. Or you could play ball with your kids. Or you could take that vacation that you've always wanted. Shh. Or just sleep. There's more details below and you can pick yours up at motiboto.com. Thanks for watching. Happy editing and God bless.